Why is it that some people, for example, my mom is very fair skinned and uh, she's protected her, her skin uh, her entire life. I mean, she wears little gloves to drive and mm -hmm. everything. Um, I've never really done much. And uh, she's had a couple of uh, situations with the skin. Nothing serious, thank God. Mm -hmm. But uh, I say, wow, you've protected. Is it, is it genetic? Yes, and it's typically genetic because you can find, we find melanomas in areas that the sun has never seen. Exactly. Yes, and it, it is really genetic. So would it be someone just having a predisposition? Yes, um, usually um, it's a predisposition either on the mother on the mother's side, um, and however, that doesn't discount your not you know staying out of the sun. Right, you need to protect yourself because besides the melanoma part, you're damaging your skin and it's looking older. <laughs> and she's looking at me going, no, and that's what's happening that. to you. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, co I'm coming to terms with my age. Um, something I've always been curious about, is, and you just touched upon it right now, is, okay, we, we see people where they get sun and they might have, you know, a situation going on. How does someone then get it in areas that are covered? Well, they were they where they've never been exposed. Well, they probably had a mole that they were born with, and oh. then the gen gene of that mole was told, that was inscribed to change into a melanoma. So your advice to people if they have moles, to check them out and maybe sometimes zap them? Well, they should be evaluated once a year, and even children should be evaluated for their moles, especially if they um, have a history of skin cancer in the family. And we, no matter what, you need to check between the toes and, and on the palms and the soles and wow. the head, you know, the scalp, and areas under the arms everywhere, um, in the general area, just to make sure that these moles are, are not changing.